Assalamu alaikum YouTubers In this theory of completion tutorial We will learn how to design DFA which accepts a sting Start with, end with, consist substring uh, Three types of problem at a single tutorial Because if you learn comparatively in three way Three problem at a time I hope this will make sense to you so let's take a sting uh, like A, B, A. Three length sting, okay? It's let's say three. Uh, it, it, its length is three. So for uh, start with, it will have five stent because uh, generally we need four stent for three length sting but for start with we need another extra state that this is dead state so 3 plus 2 we need 5 state and for into it we need 4 state and for consist with we need 4 state okay you have to remind that how many state we need okay here i am writing a b a a b a and a b a okay okay i think have you uh, you got the term why there are five and why there is four and why there is four okay now there i have written some tricks i will use this and then it will i then explain these rules and it will clear to you then it will clear to you okay my english is very weak i am very weak in english but if you listen carefully it will be clear to you i hope okay here i written the states a b c d e and the alphabets is a and b okay and the al alphabets is a and b and number of states is four and the alphabets is a and b and another thing you have to remind in your mind that in this first column i I, uh, you have to fulfill how here the first transition is a salon then you have to put their a and their a b and their a b a okay and if you, your uh, problem has given a b c d then then you have to fulfill this uh, column just like this a a b the first at first uh, one single letter and then two single letter and three letter and four letter okay and this is our dead state this is our dead state and this is our final state okay so here also a a b a b a this is our final state a a b a b a final state there is no need to have any dead state for end with and consistent problem I hope uh, you got this now uh, take a look how I am filling this transition table if if you avail to transition to fill this transition table uh, somehow then you will you will uh, you can able uh, to draw this transition diagram easily okay you will be able to draw this transition uh, diagram easily so without talking much let's start you have to multiply this summation this column to this row this column to this above row to fulfill every uh, every room of this table okay we we don't need this column as we have just only two alphabet a and b we don't need this column okay we don't need this column actually i xerox i i made this xerox for every tutorial that's why there is extra column okay so let's fulfill this room fulfill this room fulfill this room and you will have this transition you will have this transition diagram okay now let's start multiply summation to a epsilon to a is there any epsilon a just find there is there any epsilon a no then cross one preceding letter is there any a yes 
is there any there is a a in the second in the second row and this belongs to b so for a small a i will go to b state okay i will go to b state again epsilon multiply epsilon to this small b epsilon to this b is there any epsilon b no cut on question is there any b no then you need to remind this if not in this one go to dead state it will go to simply dead state okay okay then we come to the second row this means b state from b state where i will go for a this will define by the checks a to a is there any a no cut one letter is there any a yes a and this is this a belongs to b also i write down there if transition is same make it dead for b to b i will make it dead okay for, for if delta is same i read i written it uh, with ball pen make it dead okay then a multiply b is there any a b yes this belongs to c so put c here okay then again a b to a a b to a is there any a b yes in, this is in this is in dead uh, this is in d state oh our dead state is e so i would i should write it down e okay then again a b b a b b is there any a b b no cut one letter is there any b b no there is no b b or b so this will go to the dead state this means e okay and for dead state you will uh, in final state you will state in the final state for any input i have written the tricks here okay so you will state in the final state and for dead state also you will state in the dead state for any input this is the transition diagram and for transition diagram for uh, into it problem same tricks multiply epsilon to a epsilon to a is there any epsilon a no cut on letter a and a belongs to b state for so b and again epsilon b is there an epsilon b no no they then go to initial state this means it will stay in the state a okay and for b for b state multiply a to a a to a is there any a a no cut on letter is there any a yes a and it it will stay stay to in stay at b state okay okay multiply with a to b is there any a b is there any a b yes this is in state c so stay in the c state okay then again a b a is there any a b yes this is this is the final state d and it's done then a b b is there any a b b no cut down is there any b b no no then go to initial state a and for d a b a a is there any a b a no cut on letter b a a no cut a a no cut uh, a this is b state okay and for a b a b is there any a b a b no cut one letter is there any b a b no cut a b this is c this is how we got the transition table for in with a b a and for consist of problem only only sends in the final state it will stay in the final state for any input and the remain are the same this means d a b c b a and then if you draw transition uh, table diagram using this table i hope it will make sense it will help you 
clearly and it and you will able to design any kind of problem start with into it consist with problem okay so if you have any question and uh, if you need any sheet uh, on PDF uh, then knock me I will help you assalamualaikum